What's up? What's up? What's up? Yo, what's going on? Mr. His Hop here. I'm going to jump on here and just give God glory and honor and praise and just thank him for the doors that have recently opened in my life. I'm going to give a quick shout out to Desiree Music. What's up, sis? She appeared as co-host for the first time on the His Hot Radio podcast. She did a great job. She walked right in the thing and she owned it. So shout out to her. We had a good, good podcast episode. If you guys missed it, make sure you go to our YouTube page, His Hot Nation. Subscribe, like, and we talked about the end times. Signs of the end times, I think, is really important for us to know where we're at and what season we're in. But with that being said, I want to praise God for where I'm at right now, the door that has just opened to me. I don't know if y'all can see it. I can't really turn my camera around, but if y'all can see where I'm at, I'm at the Clark County Detention Center and I have the opportunity today to minister to the youth those who are incarcerated, the young adults, the at risk, the underprivileged, as society would try to label them, but they're loved by God. That's who they are. They just don't know who their identity is, right? They're called and they're chosen. God's children are in this place and I'm going in there to get them out. But I need y'all prayers though. I need y'all prayers. And this has always been the heart of His Hop Nation. We've always targeted the youth and the young adults who didn't know their identity. Society may have pushed them to the side and said that there is no place for you here or they're fatherless, motherless. Who, don't, who knows what their family life is like? We don't know what happened to where they ended up incarcerated. But we're not here to, to judge, pass judgment or... We're here to love on them, but also to share the love of Christ. And the scripture that I want to share with them today is Proverbs 10, 27. Yeah, the topic is love because we're getting close to Valentine's Day and everything. But also, they need to understand, we need to understand that there is a righteous, holy God that is going to judge the world one day. And that the wicked are going to be dealt with, right? It's good to know the love of God, but what good is that if you don't know God's judgment? Like God loved you enough to spare you from the judgment to come, right? And so that's what's on my, my heart to share. I just want to shout out all the chaplains that had a part in getting me into the juvenile detention center uh before covid pre-covid i was actually at the clark county detention detention uh facility ministering to their youth department and these 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 children i'm telling you um they knew that once they were would age out right turn 18 that they were on their way to prison there, there were a few of them that were on their way to prison and who knows what happened to where they ended up incarcerated in this place with these charges like that. But it's got to be at that age, it's got to be scary. It's got to be tough. It's got to be, you know, but we presented God to him. We presented Jesus Christ. And that's that's what I'm going to do today. That's what I want to do for this second opportunity to go and minister to these youth. Like I said, this is a totally different facility. This is the juvenile detention center. So there's more children here. It's a, it, it's, it's really, um, wow. It's really a big opportunity to share the love of God and to spread Christ. And this is his hot nation like this is the heart of it this is why we 
put on our concerts, our shows. This is why we do our podcast, radio network, and all that. We want to give them good, godly content, right, that they can consume. We want to give them a place, a culture where they can learn about God, where they can learn and hear the words of life, words that would encourage them and inspire them to live for the Lord, right? And so that's what the His Hop radio app is all about. It's a it's an evangelistic tool. That app needs to be in the hands of everyone that you love, everyone that you're trying to witness to. They may not go to church, but they'll go to a rap concert or they'll listen to some, some powerful hip-hop if they're introduced to it. So I'm going to encourage you to download that app. And all you have to do is go and turn it on and put your phone down and let them listen to it. And trust me, they're going to be like, what is this? They're going to download it. They're going to uh, get acquainted with these artists that are speaking life. So anyway, I jumped on here. It's almost time to, to go in, but I'm asking for your prayers. I'm asking you guys to pray for me. And um, if you want to know more about what we do, and how you want to help out and support our nonprofit organization, go down to hishopnation.com is our website, hishopnation.com. Like and subscribe our YouTube page, His Hop Nation, and help us make a difference. Love you. God bless.